Hey everyone, welcome back to Laura's Natural Life and in today's video I'm doing a get ready with me on this springtime look right here and I'm doing it in collaboration with my girl Ailish from The Glow Getter. That was my attempt at her super cute accent and it was terrible. I'm not going to do it again. Anyways, she is a UK based green beauty blogger, a makeup artist. She is an all around just like beautiful ray of sunshine human. She makes amazing beauty videos, has great tips, has an amazing blog. She is hosting a summit where she's interviewing all sorts of authorities in the holistic wellness and beauty sphere which is amazing and she has a course called the glow life and today we thought we would just team up and share with you our uh, spring makeup looks and yeah just have some fun together because that's what youtube friends do so don't forget to check out her channel links will be down below and probably somewhere up here and if you guys are here from alish's channel thank you so much for popping on over i hope you enjoy and now i am going to get right on to my look all right so first i'm going to start by priming my face this is the phyto <gasps> juice beauty phyto pigments illuminating primer and I've been obsessed with it all winter and now going into spring and I don't see it stopping anytime soon. It feels so nice on my skin which I feel like is just like a little bit tight still from the elements and um, it just gives such a nice luminosity under makeup and helps, I don't know, my skin just looks more dewy, luminous, fresh, alive, younger all the things and of course I'm gonna use my Gressa minimalist um, which I'm gonna shake 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 really 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 well I'm sure you've heard me talking about how I use Gressa these days but I never use more than two drops ever um, to ration it and I really love to apply it with the real techniques I think this is the expert face brush you guys know um, this is my absolute favorite foundation of all time it just you need so little it gives such a nice airbrush finish without being heavy although you can certainly build it up to fuller coverage so to set that I'm using the Terry Mia Hira over and under setting spray spray this is a powder just on this ta small tapered brush from elf like I do in every video that I do my makeup in and in real life so I wanted to give you just a little bit of a what's happening at Laura's natural life update because I haven't been doing as many videos recently that is going to change don't you worry I've just been you know adjusting to mom life um, Elliot is almost a year old which is so nuts so the reason I've not been doing as many videos lately is because I'm working really hard on a new online course which if you follow me on Instagram you've heard me chat about already forgot to tell you what I'm using the Zuzu Lux in D17 um, this is the powder foundation and this is the elf powder brush just light tappage over there to set that then i'm going to use the beauty counter matte bronzer number one to bronze up my face a little bit anyways so i'm working on my new course which is called welling your dwelling and it's all about creating a non-toxic household going from small to large cleaning products uh, furniture, miscellaneous random products like storage bins, things like that, your shower curtain, your building materials, and then what to do when things are like outside of your control, like if you're renting, if you want to, you know, healthier work environment, if something at work is bothering you, how to bring that up. And it's basically everything that I've learned from being a super chemically sensitive girl, from experts that I've hired, troubleshooting that I've done money that I've spent, <laughs> things that I've done to try to make my previous house a little safer for me so that I could physically feel better. If you guys don't know my story, I will put some links below. I basically am putting everything that I know about creating a non-toxic home into one big course. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link below so that you can sign up to be the first to know when it goes live. I'm gonna use this Terry Mia hair brush, blush, oh my gosh, in a hope, just a really pretty, I don't know, peachy, but not too peachy shade. Just, um, I've been kind of like using this brush as a fan brush lately. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I just have been. I think it applies it really nicely. And then also using 
uh, Terry Miyahira Illuminator in Lucky, which is a really pretty gold shade. So once I am done uh, filming and creating all the stuff and the goodies for the course, I am hoping to be back on YouTube um, two days a week. So I know it's been a little sporadic lately, but not forever hoping to do some like what I eat in the days and other stuff like that so just like one normal video and then one more like quick like a flash review or what I eat in the day or more like vlog type vlog style type video <laughs> who is letting me talk on camera today you guys now I'm gonna do the eyes and the way I've been doing my eyes lately is a little bit different it's actually how I used to do them several years ago when I took a class at Sephora. Did you know that Sephora has free makeup classes periodically? Um, I only went to the one, but it was like kind of an elementary way of doing your eyes, but it was so simple and effective and I kind of forgot about it until I saw um, Ali Andrea or Andrea Ali. I forget, I forget which way her name is on YouTube. Uh, but she did it for like making your eyes look more awake and I was like, oh my gosh, I used to do that all the time. Why, why don't I do my makeup like that anymore? So I'm going to do that. If you're going to do this, make sure your eyeshadows are all matte. That's very important. And I'm going to start with my most like bone color shade, which is Renew by Terry Miyahira. I'm using so much Terry today. And I'm actually just going to take my finger because I want to. Um, just I'm kind of using it as a base I probably could have put on some Lily Lolo eyeliner eyeshadow primer today but um, I just I tend to not wear eyeshadow primer that often and I'm just doing that from basically lash line to eyebrows all the way up as a nice base and more pigmented on the mobile lid on Anyways, I hope that you guys definitely click over to watch Alish's video because she's just a ray of sunshine. Like, I've known her from the from the vlogging sphere for a couple years now, and she's just like every time I talk to her, she's bubbly, she's bright, she's just like such a positive girl, and her videos are so good, her editing is so good. Like, she just puts me in a good mood. So definitely go over and check out her stuff. Now what I'm doing is taking this. Uh, Delium Tool 785. It's just basically like a tapered blending brush into my most used shadow, which is Duke by Root Pretty, and just like on the very tip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a slightly higher crease because I have hooded eyes. So I'm going to trace where I like right above my actual crease with my eyes open so that you can see it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to look right into my mirror over here and kind of follow my lash line, like directly above my lash line with my eye open. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of tracing about halfway, windshield wiper motions, blend it in, then I'm just gonna connect it over here. So it's like a tiny bit of a V, just so that when I open my eyes, it's not like kind of a weird, is that a cut crease? Did you just not blend your makeup? Kind of a thing. So the other thing that's been happening is I've been on Patreon, which has been really fun. I don't know if it's gonna be long-term or not, but it's been a fun way to connect with you girls. And so one thing that I do is I host a monthly, basically online get together. We have like a little, kind of like a video chat for all of us and answer any questions that you have about beauty, home, holistic health, anything like that. And it, we have like a conversation. So it's not just like a Q&A with me, although it can be depending on the number of people that come, but it's really a Q&A with everybody because everybody there is just trying to um, learn from other girls, connect with other girls. And so we basically just have like a big conversation. So next what I'm gonna do is mix these two shades. This is Yes You Kenyan by uh, Red Apple Lips Lipstick, which I love. And this is Espresso by Red Apple Lipstick. Um, just kind of mix them back and forth. And this one is a similar type of brush. It's the Terry Mia here at 10. It's just not quite as tapered. I'm gonna do the same thing, um, but kind of not as much. I'm not gonna go as far, but I'm gonna try to get it as in the center of that as possible so that it looks blended. And then, I am going in with a just a empty clean blending brush and I'm just gonna go over that in like tiny circles 
to make sure it's all nice and blended. This light is really weird on this side and I feel like there's a big bruise on my face, but I think it's just a shadow. And then of course I'm going to highlight. I'm using my favorite highlight. You can use whatever you want. You don't need a whole palette just for this one shade, but I have a palette. This is the shade I like. It's the Noisette palette by Antonym and I really like that gold shade for the inner corner and the um, arch of the brow bone. And I'm actually gonna do that after I do the brows since I haven't done those yet. All right, so now I'm gonna do my brows and I've been using the Honest I've been using a lot of things. I've been switching up lately, but I've been doing my brows just a little bit differently. I'm not sure that it's even noticeably different, um, except to me. Basically, I'll do my best to show you what I am doing here. So, I'm basically going thicker on the top arch. Marking my placements here. So when I hit this top arch, I'm gonna go just above it and follow that line. So I'm making my brows look thicker, but from the top. And then I'm, of course, I'm blending that all with the spoolie. So it doesn't look weird makeup lines. It looks like hairs. And then I'll go in and quick hit that arch of the brow bone with the highlight. I'm gonna take my Antonym um, eyeliner and tight line and then curl my lashes and do my mascara. And I'm using my um, tried and true combo of Lily Lolo and Hint. Speaking of cool things YouTubers are doing, um, Ailish has some really cool stuff coming up. She has something coming up that is free. It's called the Glow Summit, and she hosted it a couple of years ago. And basically, she has experts in all different forms of wellness and beauty. She lets you guys see these um, really cool video chat conversations with these leaders in wellness and green beauty. Um, I will do a couple more like mom style type videos. Um, don't worry, I'm not gonna become a mom channel. I've, I've never had that um, intention, but you know, it is nice to talk about stuff going on in your own life and that can help other people. So there are gonna be a little, few more mom videos coming up, which I know is exciting for some of you and dreaded for some others of you. And but last for the makeup is going to be this Honest Beauty Lip Crayon and it's in the shade Melon Kiss. I got this last summer and I remember like not being super impressed with the shade but I just didn't return it. And I tried it a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh that shade is so pretty. What was I thinking? I love these Demi Matte Lip Crayons from Honest Beauty. I think they're the I think they're one of the best things that they do. Oh, that's another thing that's coming up. Best of. So I filmed a couple of them. Um, I, I have a whole bunch of things filmed that are coming out. So I'm not sure when these things are coming out yet, but I am doing a series of best of different brands. So Honest Beauty is definitely one of them. So I'm real quick just gonna do my hair. I'm going to use a little bit of this hair oil that I just mixed up myself. Um, just a couple of drops. I just kind of did some, I've been working on formulating some things. I don't know if anything will come of it. I just kind of did some research on my hair type and the oils that would penetrate it and whatnot. Guys, my hair so long doesn't fit in the frame. Yeah, what oils would be good for it? Mix that up, added a little essential oil. It smells delish. Anyways, yeah, that's my, that's my spring look, my spring get ready with me. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to pop on over to Alicia's channel, check out her video and all of her cool offerings. Thanks for watching. And if you guys came here from her channel, thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe if you liked it. I'd love to see you here every single week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.